fiction becomes reality. You were a guy that a year before uh, September 11th, you knew the target would be uh, the World Trade, Trade Center, Center. Yeah, and absolutely. with planes. And with planes, yeah. Um, so I was researching uh, the Lions game, and uh, I had some good entree into a 26 Federal Plaza where the Joint Terrorist Task Force is located. Uh, the JTTF is the uh, FBI and uh, NYPD guys, mostly detectives, and some CIA thrown in to form the synergy to fight terrorism. And, and my book wasn't about that, but just in passing, we were talking about the uh, 1993 attack on the World Trade Center that nobody remembers when the car bomb was in the basement and killed, I think, nine people and caused a lot of soot. And, but mm -hmm. it was a wake-up call, but nobody, was, nobody woke up, nobody cared. So... I said, you think, I, and I said, what do you think the next attack would be? Will there be another attack? The guys sort of looked at me like, yeah. And they said, it's going to be the World Trade Center again. They missed it. And I said, well, you know, this car bomb in the basement really didn't do much. They said, no, no, no. It's going to be Lear jets. I, and I always remember this. Lear jets with suicide pilots full of explosives and full of gasoline flying into the Trade Center. And that's what it's going to be. And this was about a year and a half before the jets were hijacked. And they were, they were, they were close to right. They weren't totally right. They knew the target, and they knew the method of the target. Isn't this what, um, do you remember, and there was such outcry on this, what is the name of the, uh, uh, oh, it's DARPA. Uh, DARPA is this um, uh, think, tank. think tank, really yeah. kind of amazing think tank, uh, mainly tied with the Pentagon, are they yep. not? Advanced you know. Weapons Research. Right, and um, they come up with, their, their job is to come up with crazy ideas. Mm -hmm. And after 9-11, uh, I remember that they decided that what they thought would be best was to do almost like a stock market on where the next terrorist attack would happen and where it would be. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, couldn't be done because that's, you know, that's crazy talk. But isn't that kind of what you guys do? I mean, isn't it kind of... Your think tanks after 9-11, hmm. a lot of fiction thriller writers were called in mm -hmm. to brainstorm. There were a lot of guys called in, but it's funny. At the, at the real serious levels, and I'm talking about in the bowels of Langley and the bowels of the Pentagon where the, the, the nasty people hmm. are hanging out to go do nasty things, they never dabbled in that. We sit and we look down. We look at history, and then we look down the road for months on end. You talked about trying to write Overton and not get distracted. I do not read a daily newspaper when I'm writing. Very smart. I stay away from the news. I even I, I, I try not to listen to your show and Rush and all those guys I, because whoa, whoa, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to be distracted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not become a fiction writer. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, th there's, there's about a three-month period there at the very end when I'm immersed in it yeah. that I can't have any of those distractions because you will take your eye off the ball.